rips through a mosque in Victoria earlier this morning. And now firefighters want to know who or what started it. Imam Osama Hassan discovered the mosque in flames early Sunday morning, even as people around the country gathered in airports to protest President Trump's ban on travelers from seven predominantly Muslim countries. That morning, looking at the mosque as it burned, I felt as if we were basically given an eviction notice for the entire community, the Muslim community, to basically say, you are not welcomed here. I was just stunned. How in the world could this happen in Victoria? The shocking tragedy is right in front of your eyes, but you really trust that God will come something good out of it. And believe it or not, within a few hours, that goodness came out. The majority of people were really shocked that this yeah. thing would happen here. Victoria, to me, has always been a community of people that care for one another. It's like a small, big city, kind of. Victorians, we're very self-reliant. We pick each other up, um, and we help out. Our congregation is uh, a quiet need. It's a melting pot in itself. We have people from Palestine. We have people from Indonesia, Somalia, Iraq. They've all been part of this community. You know, they're, they're an integral part of our community. When I came to the States uh, 33 years ago, I was embraced, even at the time when I spoke very little English. I have always, always felt uh, welcomed in Victoria. So we couldn't even at that time imagine that this was a hate crime. So I remember very vividly looking at Dr. Hashmi, the president of the mosque, and saying, we're going to build, build this place. I went on Facebook, on the, on the mosque Facebook, I posted uh, two pictures of the fire, and we wrote, we will rebuild with love. And that took off. It uh, dawned on me that we need to do some kind of public fundraising, because that's really going to be the only way that we're going to be able to uh, even think about uh, rebuilding. So we immediately began to work on the GoFundMe campaign. The campaign was alive at 8.15 a.m., the morning of the, of the fire. About 11 o'clock that morning, we had already about $100,000, and it just continued to gain momentum. I mean, we had 90 countries and 23,300 people participate in the campaign. 90% of the donations came with some type of comments of encouragement and support, and and love and expressing that this is not the America that we want to live in and this is not the America our ancestors fought for. By Tuesday uh, at 8 p.m., we had already reached the $1 million mark. Phenomenal, just absolutely phenomenal. We were the ones that would get the mail and open it, and after a while it was kind of a game of Where's this one from? And we, we went from Rhode Island to Hawaii. You know, be like, oh, we got Hawaii, we got Alaska, you know. You know, you'd read them and it was nice or it was cute and then a few would make you tear up. <laughs> we had a lot of school children, either classes at churches or Jewish centers or mosques that would draw us pictures and, you know, with crayon and we're sorry your mosque burned and this kind of thing. People offering their services, like, I remember vividly this guy said, I don't have anything but a truck. So I'll, I'll drive my truck to Victoria and haul dirt for you guys. Another lady, she's brought that she's a single mom, she doesn't have anything, but if we need to clean, she'll come and clean the mosque for us. The kind of support that we receive, not only in monetary support, but also emotional support, it confirmed why I love Victoria and why I stayed here. I've talked to many journalists and other people in the media, and they're surprised at our reaction. I just have to chuckle at that. Uh, we take care of each other in Victoria. That's, that's really what it's all about. You know, I felt really honored that they would ask me to, to, to help rebuild this mosque. It's taken on a special importance. In many ways, it's, it's, it's as big as anything I've ever done. 
But if we can do something here in Victoria to demonstrate that people can survive something like this, remain a strong community, then every hour, every minute that we spend doing this will be well worth it. We have been given a lot of love. If it wasn't for the response to the GoFundMe campaign, we would not be even talking about reconstruction in four months. We would be maybe talking about reconstruction in four years. I can't use really any better evidence than that, that God has you know, seen us through it.